Well, you're important to the history of a town if you've been the mayor or the postmaster. But if you've also delivered over 3,000 of the town's babies, you get a museum made out of your home. In tonight's In Search of the Northwest, Jason Valentine travels to Ritzville to tell us the story of Dr. Frank Burroughs. For most of us, Ritzville is a point on the way to Spokane, but a rich history lies behind the truck stops by Interstate 90. In the historic district of Ritzville, on Main Street is a house connected with the fabric of the town. The house of its former mayor, postmaster, and deliverer of over 3,000 babies, Dr. Frank Burroughs. He stopped here. It was just a stopover. There was a cholera epidemic. They needed a doctor to help them. And the community um, asked him to stay, and they built this home and, and lived here throughout his career. The museum is a snapshot of life at the turn of the century. I would certainly point out Dr. Burroughs' collection of rocking chairs. Um, there's 14 that are original to the home that were all owned by him. Dr. Burroughs saw patients occasionally at his house in his office. Here's a fraction of the lives he brought into the world. Ironically, this is also the room where he died in 1925. It's important to the community because it, it is our heritage. It, it was by accident, but it was certainly to Ritzville's benefit that he lived here. Next time you're on your way to Spokane, stop for a while in Ritzville and get to know the man who helped give birth and guide the formation of Ritzville. I'm Jason Valentine for your local ABC, and you never know what history you'll find when you go in search of the Northwest. Very, very interesting. If you know of a unique site in the Northwest, let Jason know. It might just get featured on a future In Search of the Northwest. Email him at jasonv at kvutv.com.